Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News, and we've got a good one for you today. We have Brandon uh, giving his thoughts on the way Tino executed his apology and breakup on live TV last week. He says, I don't think that's how you do it. Uh, he uh, is on the Talking It Out podcast. We'll share a few clips from him, his thoughts from uh, getting stood up at the altar, and also thoughts on Nate and Michelle's breakup. A lot of times when the leads break up, then you look back and you go well what if he ended up with michelle what would have happened of course he is now starring in bachelor in paradise and we'll share a couple clips from some um the first episode what we saw with uh the way brandon hit it off with serene follow me on instagram at d neils i'm also on patreon just about every day behind the scenes bonus content patreon.com slash dave neil speaking of bonus content i did reality steve's podcast yesterday uh, about a 90 minute conversation reality steve said one of my favorite podcast guests oh thanks steve dave neil joins me today to talk about pretty much every recent story happening in bachelor nation yeah if you need a quick catch me up we talked about it all all right well let's get into it I'll play several clips from the uh, Talking It Out podcast. And and look, Brandon, he should be the face of this franchise as far as I'm concerned. He, uh, he was on the show, took it all the way to the finale, got heartbroken. He's had nothing but good things to say, shows tons of grace. This is the guy we want. Let's have a listen to what he had to say about Nate and Michelle's breakup, and then he'll comment um, after that on um, getting closure at after the final rose. Let's have a listen. To that, those thoughts when it was like, damn, I was like putting all on the line for this woman. She chose someone else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work out. Is there ever a thought of, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could have worked out. Or is it more like, I feel for you. And I think I know where you're going to say something because we're on a podcast, but I just want to try to see your, your genuine I'll, I'll response. I'll tell you how it is. Happens. I'll tell it is. Uh, I mean... So for both Nate and Michelle, like I feel for them. Like yeah. obviously you wanted to work out at the end of the day with your person or who you thought your person was, regardless. Uh I don't know, for me, in my point of view, like how I saw it is like, yo, I gave my all and God didn't put it in his in the deck of cards for me with yeah. her. So it's it's just like, yo, I gave everything I had. And I left with no regrets because I was like, yo, this is the love that I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna be myself hundred percent through the way. If you don't choose that, then I mean, somebody will like my person will at the end of the day, they're not even going to bat an eye. They're going to be like, yes, this is a person who I want to be with for the rest of my life. So with Nate and Michelle, like I really did. I wanted them to work out like without a doubt. Nate's my boy. Um, obviously, I didn't talk to Michelle out of respect. Like, I just think yeah, that's yeah. kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, if I'm able to hang out with Nate, Rodney, like, all of them, like, we all dated the same woman, but we all have this love and respect for her and the decision that she made with Nate. And so we love Nate. Like, like I'm, I don't know. I just, I just, I saw Nate's podcast with uh, Nick and all that, and I just, I thought they were going to work out. So I guess just at the end of the day, I mean, Life has a funny way of showing you that maybe that isn't your right person like you think it is at that time, but I think things happen. So, All right, so we were looking there for clues that he may be with somebody right now after Bachelor in Paradise. We'll have to see how it all works out. Um, by the way, I want to give a special shout out to Mike here. Uh, the extra production value by sticking the headphones underneath the shirt does not go unnoticed there, Mike. And also, I mean, look, like I, I, I rag on every Bachelor podcast, but I think technically speaking, the best voices um, as far as resonance and actual like great you know, uh, great radio voices goes to the Talking It Out podcast. Very well done. All right, so Brandon, of course, just nails it, says out of respect for Michelle, I decided not to talk to her, and he thought N Michelle and Nate would work out. Of course, the whole audience, everyone thought Michelle made the wrong choice choosing Nate over Brandon, but, you know, N Michelle's going to try to follow her heart best she can. All right, let's see if Brandon got closure at, after the final rose. Like someone that's been on, you know, been on the show, right? You speak from experience and talking about uh, that. Me? Yeah, who, <laughs> me, you know, you've <laughs> been on after the final rose, right? Uh, with Michelle. Yeah. What do you remember most about that experience? I mean, first, I will. What I remember most is like I accidentally cussed on live TV. So that was my <laughs> fault. I forgot I was live. I do remember that. <laughs> <Good guy. Yeah. laughs> uh, secondly, it, it was just like, it was just, it's a place to get clarification. Uh, there's a way how to do it respectfully. There's a way how to do it, you know, like 
what you need to do to get clarity for one person in your point of view. So um, say, for instance, you know, Tino going back in and trying to like put it back on Rachel, trying to start a fight on stage, re rehash like different things. Like, I don't think that's how you do it. For me, like it was like, hey, I just want clarity on my side. Like what was going through your head? Because I know I don't see your side. Like your role is crazy. I just want clarification, like where we went wrong so that next relationship that I'm in, I can learn from like those mistakes or I can just understand that I'm just being me and maybe I wasn't your person, like whatever it may be. Cause you have a thousand thoughts going through your head before. And this is the only chance that you get in order to speak to them. So, well, what's and now uh, very well said by Brandon, but what's different here is Brandon came off as the guy, the victim of heartbreak. He came off as the most lovable soul crunching. One, one of the, one of the most passionate heartbreaks uh, that we've seen in this show versus Tino who cheated and Tino's attempt to have a conversation to explain the why he cheated, which of course there's never an, a good reason why, but at the same time, it's TV. We followed their story. We want to know what the hell went down, what the hell went down. We never got that. So, um, so that's why I slightly push against the idea that like Tino did things the wrong way. I think all Tino has, like all we have is our character and what people think of us. And of course, like he earned the labeled cheater. He earned that. He did what he had to do to make that happen. Uh, although there could have been a conversation that went better that left the dust settled and we just never got that. So Brandon, um, do you think with Michelle, you got that closure that you needed when you were on AFR and in order for you to essentially start healing and moving on with your life? No, you didn't get closure. Uh, no. No, I did not. I mean, for me, Speak I got on like it. closure. Well, closure. So I got closure pretty much. It's like, yo, I know, I understand. Like, I'm not your person. You're not mine. I guess mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'm um, happy for you and Nate, things like that. But what I asked is where we went wrong. And what she explained to me was uh, the reason why she fell in love with two people. So I didn't really get closure because I was like, okay, maybe I didn't go wrong. Maybe it's just at the end of the day, it was a which I looked at it as was like, it's an extremely tough decision. You went with your heart, you chose him, that's it. But I didn't get the closure because I just wanted to know where the disconnect was. And it sounds like the closure then would be that you didn't do anything wrong, that he just won the race. It's almost like you're really fast and Nate was faster. So you got silver medal. Like you just didn't win her heart. But in other scenarios where someone sees you as the fastest one, you would you would win. Does that make sense? But at the end of the day, like, you know, she chose I, her you, you move on. She chose her person. I understood that. I moved Until on. he didn't choose Killed her. myself, and now I'm happier for it, so. Oh. Okay. And as we know, of course, Nate broke up with uh, Michelle through text message. Through text message or phone call? Touch that. Go back, go back right quick. You said yeah, I healed yeah. myself. How did you heal yourself? Uh, You know, you got to get into a routine. You surround yourself by positive people, people who look at things in a different light. So, like, you know, say you spill coffee all over yourself. Someone would be like, hey, that's a nice new T-shirt. Like, you got a nice new look going on. So, you know, just like, you know, traveling with friends and everyone from the show and, like, just seeing new experiences and, you know, just doing things that would make me happy. So It also helps to get over somebody when you're so extremely good looking that every time you open up your DMs, you just get a flood of women telling you how beautiful you are. I feel like every time he opens his DMs, it's like, I'll take you. I'll take you. You can be mine. I'll give you my final rose. You know, uh, fantasy suites. I got a key for you. you. If you choose to forego your fantasy. Okay. You know, um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, that's got to be tough to watch that play out. He was ripped apart, uh, emotionally speaking, ripped apart. Now, on Bachelor in Paradise, here he is uh, with his intro, which, by the way, they have this little crane shot they do. He just nails it right here. He kind of just comes in and just kind of does a little thing, and Serene's like, yo, and he's like, hey, and they're like, let's talk, and they're like, okay and then they do it they 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 immediately i mean look at that they're kissing now again this is just a recap of episode one we have 10 episodes to go so there they are and of course here's serene coming down to the beach by the way i gotta tell you uh the sarong apparently this is called a sarong or maybe this is just a fishnet skirt this is so that the audience doesn't know she has a bikini underneath this is clearly to show boundary that uh, you cannot see what's underneath 
the fishnets. But uh, if she went fishing, she caught a Brandon. Let me tell you right now, he's going to have to work for it. But they are, they are couple number one. She was the first onto the beach. She's, um, uh, I mean, if you're bachelor producers, you protect what may be of this relationship. You give them the best one-on-one dates. Neil Lane comes out with the biggest, juiciest diamond ring, and you see if they can make it work because this would, you know, I'll tell you what, it's almost like we're the Chicago Cubs right now and they need a World Series ring. You know what I mean? There's been so many half stories where people don't make it, maybe emotionally speaking, they're not quite there. And finally, we have someone like, Brandon and Serene that could, and again, I could be jumping the gun here. It's only been one episode, but they are looking gorgeous. We'll have to see how it plays out. I've got more content coming your way. Follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.